cult. If you try to leave and the Illuminati, they will kill you. And that's why so many people probably have died or have died in a car accident or have OD'd because they got miserable and they wanted to die. You know, and it's so sad because it's like deep down, did they know Jesus? You know, it's so sad because Jesus is right there. You know, if and and it's and he is more powerful than any any whatever super whatever uh, supernatural evil demonic high thing. Jesus is more powerful than the devil. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, demons flee. And if these people, if these celebrities can just open up their heart. So now I'm telling the church, it is our job to get on our face because these are real people that have souls. They, they, they just was bought out to, to the devil through temptation and lust. I mean, we don't know how their childhood life was. We don't know, you know, why their parents sold them out. Because it had to be at a young age for the, all this to happen. And a lot of these people were Christian. They grew up knowing God. And you know what the Bible says? That if you grow up, if you grew up in the ways of the Lord, if you grew up, Knowing God, being taught the good news. If you, if you grew up knowing the ways of the Lord, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, so sorry. Um, as you get older, you will not depart from it. There is, it's something like that, you know? And so God is calling these people back. Just because they have been deceived, you know, the Lord, is He hasn't turned His back on them. He still wants to love them and with open arms and love on them. He wants, He loves them. He wants to love on them. He wants to be their Lord and He wants to be their Savior and He wants to be their healer because these people are bound with thousands of demons inside of them and they have no clue. And when they become an, an, an alter ego, that is a, a demon spirit taking over that person controlling them like Miley Cyrus whenever she performs she wears thongs and and she gets the, the crowd you know she, she gets the crowd embraced and and she gets them all um what's the word I'm looking for riled up or she, she gets them to rub on her coochie. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's, that's just what she does. And that is disgusting. But we are not to discriminate and we are not to judge her because that is a, a demon spirit taking over her host body. And she doesn't know Jesus. You know... And it's sad. It's so sad because she grew up Christian. And, and that is the thing with the, the, this group, the Illuminati. They go after the ones that were Christian. And see, and the group of the Illuminati, they are just influenced by Satan too. Because they are trying to steal God's children the ones that God, that Jesus Christ has marked. You know, He has claimed us. He has put a mark on us. He has, you know, we are His. 
and those who grew up knowing God, the enemy, you know, he, he, he tries to take them back using fame and fortune. Because who doesn't like money? Who doesn't la like to be famous? But you know what? I'd much rather be famous in God's eyes and famous in the world. Because my soul and all e eternity is what matters. But people get lied to, and they think that what they see on earth, you know, what, what they have right now, th these new Nikes that came out, you know, the new Porsches, and, you know, all, all this stuff, all this material stuff will make them happy and is what matters, and maybe they will matter if they have this new stuff, you know. But the whole point is, you do matter. You don't need to have a name brand stuff to matter, to try to look cool, you know. That's just all a lie. You can be broke <laughs> and be happy. And in God's eyes, you matter. And these celebrities, they matter. And that is the thing. I think part of the public, they forget. They, they forget what they are truly suffering and going through. And as the church, as the body of Christ, we need to pray for these people. Because... We are not witnessing and we are not going through what they are going through. So we can't say that we know what they are going through. But we know that they are suffering. We know that they are bounded with demons tormenting them. So in the name of Jesus right now, I plead the blood of Jesus over those celebrities that are bounded with Satan that has the chains of bondage, I claim and I declare that in the name of Jesus that those chains come off of them now. That the blood of Jesus covers them from the top of their head to the, into the inner cells of their bodies. I speak to the cells, the blood cells, the bones, the brain, the mind, the central nervous system. Father God, I pray for a complete healing and restoration on these people. Father God, break them free from this bondage. Break them free in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. Give them a hunger and a thirst and a desire for you. I rebuke the lies of the devil and I bind that lying spirit. I bind that deceiving spirit that is trying to take over their mind. I bind it and I cast it down into the pits of hell. Father God, speak truth, Father God, and put a hedge of protection around these people, Father God, that these celebrities, Father God, Father God, I cry out to you, Lord. We cry out to you, Lord, that they will come to know you, God, and that they will have an awesome testimony, Father God, and that these children, that these people, that these kids, they look up to these celebrities, Father God, and I ask for their forgiveness. But then these kids, too, will be inspired. And then these kids, too, will then call out to you. Father God, please do some restoring. In Jesus' name. Because there's no power that is greater than you, Father. There is no power in hell or on earth that is more mightier and more powerful than greater than you, Jesus. I know what you can do, and I believe it can be done, and I want to see it. 
Well, I want to see it. So, Father God, do what you do best. Have your way, Father God, and make those demons flee from them in Jesus' name. Break them free, Father God. The fiery darts that the enemy th is throwing upon them. I reverse it back upon their heads and let it fall on them. I reverse it and make it fall back to where it came from. In Jesus' name. I rebuke that spirit of witchcraft. And I rebuke that mind control. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, it will no longer affect them because of you, Father God, because of your Son, because of the blood that was shed upon that cross. Be their Savior like you are mine. I love you, Lord, and I trust in you, Father God, and I just hope that one day when we go to heaven, that these people will be there too. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.